Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that link to subscribe. Please like and please share this video. It really, really helps out my channel and it motivates and inspires me to create new content. Um, so, you know, if you can do that, please, please do it. I, I need subscribers like the day before yesterday. Um, so let me get to it. If you are new to my channel, I received lipo, um, BBL, and tummy tuck in the Dominican Republic, February 15, 2021, and my doctor is uh, Dr. Duran. I wanted to discuss um, supplies that you may need for your surgery, supplies that maybe you don't need, and you know other things that I have experienced while on this journey. I wrote a little list, so if you see me looking down, it's because I was, I forgot. I mean, I've tried to record this video so many times and I kept forgetting different little things. So um, I'm just gonna say like things that you probably have seen that you may need to buy and you probably don't need to buy or you don't need to buy a lot of it. What not to buy, don't get more than one Arnica cream or gel. Um, don't get more than one bottle of Arnica tablets. And I'll show you guys what all of this stuff is. I have everything, um, I have everything spread out and I'll show you like how I use all of my products for this surgery. Um, do not buy chuck pads. Find out if your recovery house, if they provide the chuck pads and don't buy them. Um, they take up a lot of space and weight in your bag. Um, and two, I also wanna say these are things that if you plan on packing and bringing these things with you. There's also all alternative ways to get these items. And I will share that later on with the video, later on in the video. You probably won't need a dry brush, um, which is a brush where you dry brush your body like when your body's still you know, dry, it's supposed to help with your lymph. I'm not gonna say don't buy it, it's up to the person. I bought one, but I never use it. So for me, it was kind of like a waste. Um, so far and I am um, a little over eight weeks post-op now so so far it hasn't been uh, used let me see do not buy surgical tape um, don't buy the zero gravity chair I know so many videos are suggesting that you buy the zero gravity chair I bought it and for me it was a waste of money it's not comfortable at all um, I sleep on this wedge setup behind me that I also made a video on. So please check that video out. Um, this thing has been the best item that I found so far. If you know you don't have a bed that raises up and down, this thing works really, really great. So check that video out. Do not buy a Faha ahead of your surgery. I did that, I bought two and that was a complete waste of money like and that's a lot of money for a faha so please don't don't buy a faha before you usually will get one if you're going to the dr your um your surgeon will usually provide you a stage one and then you pay maybe like 150 160 for a stage two um depending on what what surgeries you you know gotten done um for what i did i think mine's was 150. Okay, so things that you more than likely will need to purchase. Um, very, very needed things. Um, I would say the number one item that was needed for me are poise pads. You wanna bring at least two bags of poise pads, um, the overnight ones, um, and two, you know, two large size bags. Um, fit them all inside of your suitcase depending on where they place your drains i did not research where my doctor was going to place the drains i guess i mean most of the time when you have a doctor um that you know you're going to go to you've seen their pictures of what their patients look like on the operating table um look to see where their drains are located if the drains are low if and this is for if you're getting a tummy tuck because if you're getting a tummy tuck your drains could be located in your in your tummy tuck incision or they could be located um in your pubic area like um above your your pubic area i should say um see where they're going to place that because if it is in the pubic area which is where my doctor places her drains um you're going to 
leak a lot and um if you have adult diapers that will definitely help with the leaking even when you put because you're going to use poise pads to help with the leaking you're going to use poise pads for compression you're going to use poise pads for many different things but even they don't help with the leaking um when the you know where, where your drains could be placed if your drains are placed in that area they don't really help much so get adult diapers um bring three dresses maximum please don't bring more than that i've seen a lot of dolls say that they needed they wanted to bring like eight seven eight pairs of uh seven eight um seven to eight dresses um don't do that most recovery houses have laundry facilities so they will wash your clothes so you don't need to do that um and plus you're going to be in your faha almost the entire time the only time you need to put on any clothing is when you have your post-op appointments and i want to say uh for my doctor i only had three so that's all that i all that i needed um let's see bring sleeping pills because that's one of the hardest things on this journey is falling asleep if you can get prescribed sleeping pills from your doctor that is probably the best bet if you can't get sleeping pills from your doctor please go to like a cvs or a walgreens or rite aid or something to get some over the counter sleeping pills um bring latex gloves um just because you want to be safe if you do end up touching any of your incisions or if you have any wounds like um, lipo burns, faha burns, necrosis, whatever, um, you want to have latex gloves on deck. Like I use so many of them because I did suffer with suffer from a faha burn. So I use a lot of latex gloves. I will talk about the faha burn in a later video, just not yet. Um, Q-tips. Bring Q-tips to help clean out your drains um, in case, I mean, when you go to the recovery house, these nurses are really busy. There's a lot of girls in these recovery houses. Um, everybody needs help. Um, and as you start to heal, you will notice that you'll start to do more on, on your own. So like for me, I did start to clean out my own drains. Like once it was really easy, like when I saw the nurses doing it and you know, like I said, I have my gloves, I have my Q-tips. And my thing is, I'd rather have, instead of waiting for a nurse to clean it, I'd rather just have it done. That way, there's no blockages. There's, you know, there's, everything's running smoothly. Everything's flowing the way it needs to. Um, you're probably going to need to buy Tecosol, which is a antibiotic powder that keeps your wounds dry and it also um, helps with healing. That is only sold in the DR. So um, when you get to the DR, I would definitely recommend purchasing uh, the Tecosol there. Your recovery house should be able to order it for you. Um, and usually like they have somebody that will come and deliver whatever sort of ointments, um, if you need Pedialyte, if you need whatever, um, usually they have somebody that will deliver that to the recovery house and you just pay for it there. Um, and they also, I mean, where I was, they took cards. Um, let me see. You're going to want to get anti-itch cream because you are going to probably start itching. I didn't really start itching, um, until about one and a half months post-op. And most of my itching was on my back. Um, so I do use itch cream and some nights I don't itch at all. Some nights I itch a lot. Um, bring at least two to three packs of baby wipes. That's, you're going to use that a lot. And I would say bring anti uh, antibacterial soap. Hibiclens is what I use. Hibiclens you can get, I mean, all of these things that I mentioned, you can get except for the Tecosol. You can get all of these things off of Amazon. So Amazon's going to be your best friend. Get everything that you need off of there. And those are going to be your most needed items. Um, if you're going to bring vitamins, definitely, you know, bring those with you because you're going to want those pre-op and post-op. So definitely do that. Um, I do want to show you my little setup. So I will turn the camera and show you exactly what I use, what it looks like, and um, how I use it. Okay, so this is my setup that I use. Um, I just wanted to show you, um, like this is the dry brush. Um, this is the Tecosol that you can only get in the DR. 
Um, here's the Arnica bottle with the Arnica tablets. Um, you may need to have Neosporin. I use this for scarring. This is Keto Coat. I think I'm saying that right. Like I said, I had a Faja burn, so I use this Recover On, which I got in, in Mexico. Um, I don't know where you can get that here in the States, but if anyone knows, please leave it in the comments. Um, this is the itch cream that I have. Um, I got this for my Faja burn, but I really didn't use it. This is um, scar tape, more Tecosol, Benadryl. Um, this right here, I have a, a, a ultrasound, um, ultrasound cavitation device um, that I use that you will, th that's really important for healing and re in recovery. So if you can get your hands on one of those um, when you get back home, please do because it really, really helps. Here's my Q-tips, um, here's my vitamin C. Uh, surgical tape which you don't need but I actually I try to make use of it just anyway I mean I even use it for like regular taping things because I really didn't need to buy it and like I said it was just a waste but um yeah that's about it okay so guys um I do want to give you some really really cool tips um one tip like okay I kept thinking how am I going to bring all of this stuff my suitcase is going to weigh like a body and it's gonna be you know it's gonna be too much to to um to check you know my bag's probably gonna cost a fortune i have two tips one thing is if you fly american airlines which is what i did you actually can check your bag at the gate and it's free as long as you can get your bag through customs like i had hibiclins in my bag a small bottle actually that i got off of amazon and I had to throw it out. So the Hippoclans, I couldn't take. However, the person who was flying with me, which is my mom, she also got surgery as well. She had the same, she had the, yeah, the same Hippoclans in her bag and they didn't find it. So she was able to get through and um, I ended up using her Hippoclans when we were in the DR. And then fortunately enough, um, the person that we were sharing the room with also let us, um, use her Hippoclans as well. So we kind of all just ended up like sharing our stuff um, to some degree. So so I would say, yeah, um, like I said, check your bag at the gate, it's free. Um, so just act like you're gonna, you know, carry it on and then check it when you get to the gate. Um, second thing is, if I would have known this beforehand, this is what I would have done. Um, you don't have to buy all of this stuff and bring it with you. That is just an option. For me, I thought I wanted to, I mean, I wasn't really, I didn't really know about this, but I also thought like, oh, I rather see and pick what I want. But you can buy a Beauty in a Box, which you, I think it's maybe like $250, $300 or something for the Beauty in, the, Beauty in a Box. You get all the supplies that you need. You also get your boppy pillow. Um, I did want to choose my boppy pillow because I didn't like the, the kind of boppy pillows that they offered um and then i'll show you the boppy pillow that i got i got this in the dr i love it because it has the handle and i just really like it now beauty in a box also they also have um a handle on their boppies but they're like square shaped i believe and i don't know it's just not something that i you know would have chosen but like i said all of your supplies are there so when you get there they deliver your bag everything's done for. Um, I will leave their information in the description box. So um, like I said, if anybody was interested in just going that route, if I were to do this again, that's what I would do. I will say that so far with the progress of my healing, of my surgery, I still um, lay on the wedge. Like I said, I'm over eight weeks post-op. I still feel like I'm most comfortable sleeping um, in this position instead of flat on the bed. I tried to lay flat on the bed and I woke up with my stomach killing me. So um, I just don't, I'm not really ready to do that yet. Um, I still have itching. Um, I still get massages um, twice a week. Oh, a big concern that I have is I have been eating. I mean, they say you have to feed your fat or you can lose it. 
but I'm so nervous that my face is getting fatter and my arms are getting fatter because I wasn't able to get lipo in my arms. I actually think I will probably need an arm lift or something. But um, yeah, I, I'm just nervous that I'm gaining weight there. So I'm like, I'm kind of dying to diet. Like, I don't know. Like, I haven't just, I don't I feel too free. I know that sounds really weird, but I feel too free just like, oh, let me just eat what I want. Um, you know, some people have left comments saying like, yeah, eat everything. And some people are like, well, it has to be healthy. And so I'm like, I don't know, you know, I know like if I were to just eat healthy fast, to me that sounds like keto and you're gonna lose weight. So I'm like, I don't really know like what route to go. But um, yeah, like if you have any comments, just please leave them below. Um, that's about it. I will be back with a new video, hopefully really soon. So hopefully sooner than later. And um, that's it. Thank you guys. Bye.